We're so used to thinking of American giving as a, as a series of snapshots, of still photographs, but it's really a movie. It's really changing over time. Generosity for Life is an effort here at the Lilly Family School to showcase how generosity changes over the life cycle. There's a lot of discussion about generosity, what it is, how to measure it. There's very little data about generosity, especially this dynamic version of generosity that it changes over the life course. So people will listen to insights about generosity if it's backed up by scientific fact. There are actually three components to Generosity for Life. The first is the website and the data that undergirds the website. We have here at the Lilly Family School an unusual and extensive, a very rich resource, the Philanthropy Panel Study that tracks the same American families over time and measures their giving, both money, time, and other ways. We can now study generational shift in giving with these data. We can now study how giving changes among the same families over time with these data. That's a big deal because this is the first time that we've had this life cycle data fully accessible by everyone and um, also tailored and made customizable so that individuals, families, educators can use the data. By launching the website, what we understood is that individuals and families experience generosity very differently at different points in their lives. The second piece of the project is the regranting phase, where we engaged a network of scholars from around the country to actually work side by side with one another and learn about this very uh, notion of generosity for life. We were looking for connections of the research to, for instance, older adults, middle-aged adults, or young adults or children. Was that a, built into the research? The second thing we were looking for was time the sense that giving plays out over time, either a long time period or a short time period. From the very beginning, we knew that it was important to engage scholars from various disciplines and to learn from one another. We had uh, applicants from economics, psychology, uh, education, scholars working in the arts and humanities, as well as in the social sciences. When a person who uh, thinks about generosity in one way, say an economist like me, listens to a sociologist and she says something that resonates with me but helps me see my own work in a different way. That's where new ideas came from. And now we're in the next phase of this project where we're starting to design these tools uh, that were of general uh, interest right now to make them customizable for various audiences and stakeholders. We don't want this research just to reside in academic journals or on the shelf. We want it to be useful to people across different spheres of society. And I think the reason Generosity for Life has been uh, so embraced as kind of a concept and the website and all these facets is because it does touch on questions that everyday folks want to know about and want to better understand. Yeah.